problem of treating lipedema starts often with the treatment of lymphedema. I know from some statistics that about 15, maybe 15% 15 of patients that uh, go to doctors who treat lymphedema, actually they suffer uh, lipedema. And often lymphedema is also complicated by accumulation of fat tissue. And by the way, also the lipedema in the advanced stages uh, is often complicated by lymphedema. So uh, the realities often live together, but we have also uh, some cases that are clearly uh, lipedema by, by the beginning of the history, of the clinical history. For us in Italy, it is not so easy to treat lipedema patients for uh, more reasons. Uh, the, the first reason that is a problem, uh, I think, but uh, actually for all of the world, that lipedema is not a disability uh, uh, up to date is, uh, is not uh, recognized as a pathology. I know that maybe in the first stages, much uh, of the doctors and uh, of the health organizations uh, recognize only as an aesthetic problem. Maybe it is, but if we go in the advanced stages, I don't think we, we can only uh, speak of an aesthetic problem. Uh, we have pain, we have uh, burdens, we have uh, difficulties uh, in uh, movements. And uh, as we uh, apply on all the patients that come here in our hospital, the ICF, so the International Classification of Functioning, we know better that the way of uh, living of these persons is uh, limited. We are treating with a conservative uh, way these patients and we use uh, a combined treatment uh, uh, that uh, comprehends uh, ultrasound cavitations, uh, manual lymphatic drainage, uh, shock waves and uh, mesotherapy. We have until now um, nice results uh, for what concerns the reduction of circumference but overall, uh, the best result we get is the reduction of pain in these patients. As we see also from surgical point of view, they obtain good results, but also in, with surgical treatment, the, the results are not eternal. After some times, we have a recurrence of lipedema. What we have surely is that uh, there is a, an inflammatory uh, also pattern uh, maybe that gives um, an answer for what concerns uh, pain, for what concerns the uh, fragility of the uh, of the vascular tissues, of the vascular um, of the veins of the capillaries. Uh, so, uh, but why do we have so an inflammatory uh, pattern? Uh, the inflammatory pattern we have uh, also in uh, a, a white tissue, white fat tissue. Um, and we don't have it normally in a brown tissue. Uh, so it's not, it's not easy to, to get uh, an answer. I think that uh, if we understand better the causes of lipedema, we will be much more able to treat it. We are also conducing uh, genetical studies on patients with lipedema. We have a good collaboration with the center uh, here in Italy uh, of Rovereto uh, by Dr. Bertelli, who is conducing for us uh, studies about lymphedema primary lymphedemas. Uh, we are also uh, trying to collect the genomas of patients uh, affected by lipedema and trying to get some idea of what kind <laughs> of genes are uh, implicated in uh, this uh, condition.